We found Babe. I got some pictures of Winston next to it. Yay, look at Babe the Blue Ox. Oh my God, it's so cute. Ah! Saw it on Google Maps, 1,700 miles away. Pretty stoked to see it. There's good old Babe. I love you, Babe. Hey y'all, welcome back to Adventuring with Amanda. Thank you so much for being here with me and Winston. We are currently camped at Cross Lake Campground in Cross Lake, Minnesota, just outside of Brainerd. And this campground is so magnificent that this video is going to be about the campground itself in case you're looking for some, somewhere spectacular to camp. Let's get started. Cross Lake Campground is part of the Cross Lake Recreation Area located in Cross Lake, Minnesota. It is just north of Brainerd, Minnesota, and the drive up here is absolutely beautiful through all of the, the Great Lakes. It is a tremendous journey up to the campground, and it is located spectacularly right on Cross Lake. The Pine River, which is a tributary of the Mississippi River, was once a creek connecting Cross Lake with Upper and Lower Whitefish Lakes, which are surrounded by 13 other natural lakes. And the drive in here uh, shows that. It's like you're literally driving amongst the lakes the entire way here, which is uh, just phenomenal. So there are lots of different channels and reservoirs in the area. Um, and Cross Lake is part of the Whitefish Chain of Lakes, which is a, almost 14,000 acres um, worth of water. Not only does this campground um, at Cross Lake have boat ramps, but it's really nestled in these tall pines um, that are so picturesque. And there's there are beaches, uh, like, I mean, this one's just like a small little beach area, but there are swimming beaches and um, the campsites are all super well maintained. The restrooms are really clean. There are super clean shower facilities um, and even several like campsite areas, areas with benches that you can hang out and chill um, and you know, handicap accessible. Everything is handicap accessible. And there are also day use areas um, as well, even if you aren't staying at the campground. Cross Lake Campground does have about 120 spots, so it is a really large campground. I noticed that even in the peak of summer, the campground cleared out today on a Thursday. There's literally the five spots around me cleared out, so there is plenty of space for everybody. I'm parked in one of the spaces that is labeled as non-electric for vehicles. There are tent spaces with non-electric, um, but most spaces in the campground do have um, electric hookups and only a handful have full hookups for cable and water as well. However, there are lots of water spigots located around the campground for getting your water and uh, these campsites are rather big, so if you have portable solar, you should have enough space to put out your solar panels. Each camp spot does come with a picnic table and a fire ring, a fire pit. And like I said, if you choose an electric spot, you will have electric hookups at your camp spot. But um, the space that we are in is so incredibly large. I am so, so grateful for it. But we are on the end and we are in a non-electric site. So that is a compromise. But if you don't need electric, this is literally an ideal location. And I will also say that I know it's windy, but if you even go two rows into the campground further away from the lake, you can barely feel the wind. So the windiest spots are right on the lake, but I happen to love it because it's making it so much cooler. So here is one of the shower buildings. They have lots of showers in there, so I do plan to take advantage of the amenities while I'm here within walking distance, but it's nice because there's also um, parking spots right out front. This is a massive campground of like 120 spots, so they really make it uh, nice for everybody.
here is one of the boat ramps. Lovely dock and um, fish cleaning station right in there. It's very calm and peaceful. Oh, they even have life jackets, how nice. This campground is <laughs> incredible. video I paid $22 for um, per night at this campground which is an incredibly reasonable price especially considering all the amenities you get um, it's $28 for an electric hookup spot which I still think is really cheap my Verizon service is amazing um, the facilities are fantastic and there's just so much to do there's literally walking trails all over we're within walking distance of restaurants and a coffee shop right across the street I mean, this campground is, it's amazing. I mean, it is absolutely fantastic. So I plan on returning. Um, this I'd say is probably, this might be the best campground I've ever stayed at. Um, definitely in the top three. I mean, it might be number one. I'm still trying to decide, but I'm like, I'm sad that I'm leaving tomorrow because it's just, it's so incredibly peaceful and serene. So I highly recommend it. If you can get up here, check it out. I plan to return next, next year, hopefully, um, for like a week or two, because this place is amazing. So if you enjoyed uh, my little informative video about Cross Lake Campground in Cross Lake, Minnesota, be sure to like and subscribe. Um, yeah, and then in the meantime, Winston and I are headed uh, to Maple Grove to spend my birthday with my grandma. So we'll see you next time.